Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of one-digit multiplication. If it's been a while and you need a quick refresher, this should be helpful. Whether you're in high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, helping with an assignment, or maybe you just learned this recently and need a quick refresher, really, no matter where you're at, here are a couple of examples to help you out. Let's jump into number one, where we have 439 times seven. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to line this up vertically. So we're going to rewrite it up and down. So let's go below the problem here. And we have 439 times seven. Now we can start multiplying and we start with the ones place. So we have a nine in the ones place. We need to do seven times nine to start with. Seven times nine is 63. So let's write our three and then carry our six. And then we work our way left. So next would be the tens place. So we have a three in the tens place. Seven times three is 21. And then we add that carried six. So 21 plus six is 27. Let's put our seven and carry the two. And then we have the hundreds place. So a four is in the hundreds place. Seven times four is 28 plus two is 30. So we can put our zero. Now there are no more places to the left. So let's just bring our three down into the thousands place. Put our comma and our final answer is 3073. Let's move on to number two and do another example. For number two, we have 2,864 times five. So let's rewrite this vertically. 2,864 times five. Start with the ones and then we will work our way left. So we have a four in the ones place. Five times four is 20. Let's put our zero, carry the two. Then we have the tens place where we have a six. Five times six is 30, plus the carried two is 32. Carry our three. Then we have the hundreds where we have an eight. So five times eight is 40, plus three is 43. Carry our four. And then lastly, we have the thousands where we have a two. So five times two is 10, plus that carried four is 14. So we'll put our four and then we do not have any more places to the left. So we just bring our one straight down. We have a comma here. And our final answer is 14,320. So there you have it. There's a quick review of one digit multiplication. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.